Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome all of you back for another video. Um, you're all probably wondering why in the hell I just called the video number 96. Well, um, it's because this is my 96th video I've posted on this channel. And I'll get more into that of why i am just numbered it and why I'll be numbering these videos up until my 100th video. But, more on that in a few. Anyways, in my last video, I said I was going to go ahead and I was going to do my next shave using products that I've won in giveaways. So, as far as products go, I'm using a razor, a brush, and a soap that I have won in giveaways. Um, let's start with the razor. I won this on Mel Canaan's. I believe that's how I pronounce his last name. Channel Warhawks World. He hasn't posted anything there for quite a while. He usually does live videos now um, over on Shaving with Rich there on Facebook. And uh, it's this one, a 1940s Fat Handle Tech Razor. Very mild razor. If you ever are out looking at razors and you see one of these techs, one way you can get an idea of kind of what, what era it's made in, um, they started engraving um, the word Gillette across the cap in the 19, early 1950s. Um, the blade in this is a Persona Red. One of my favorite blades. The soap... Well, first, let's go ahead and let's check out the brush. Empty my nice little skull goblet soaker. Set that right there. Anyways, the brush is one of my favorites. It is one of the only two badger brushes I own, and it is this one. It's a whip dog. High Mountain White Knot, 24 millimeter, and what he calls his tall amber handle. As you can see, there's no coin, nothing engraving saying whip dog. Um, pretty plain, but I just really like this handle. Real comfortable, real simple. Has this little groove going around the base. Other than this little groove, there's really no ornamentation to the handle. Um, kind of tapers in and flares out for the knot. Really nice brush. That knot feels really good on the face. The soap is this one. This is Petrichor. And it comes from the Free Soap Collective. It is a bison tallow soap. The smell is just beautiful on it. I really like the smell. In case you're wondering, the Free Soap Collective, what in the heck is that? Um, you might have seen him on some of the Facebook groups. His name is Max Schaefer. He makes these soaps as a hobby, and he just gives them away. Um, says, hey, I'm giving away this soap. Say I'm in. I'll draw, I'll draw somebody later. And I was lucky enough to get this. Hmm. Like I think I said, it's a bison tallow formula. I believe it's four ounces. Over here, let me grab my handy dandy little Victor Reader. Anyways, got my handy dandy little Victor Reader. And the scent notes in Petrichor are black pine, cedar wood, elemy, I'm not sure what that is, geosmin, which is a special compound that releases the scent of fresh dirt or concrete when rain falls on either of them. Birch leaf, dark patchouli, and benzoin, whatever benzoin is. I'm not a soap maker, I'm not a chemist, so I don't know exactly what that may be. I believe benzoin might be a resin. Put that out of the way, right there. One second, guys. There we go. 
had to secure the victory it was almost a 400 dollar device anyways um so yeah let's go ahead and let's get going on this shave um the label, I'm not sure if that's the right way up, but he makes the labels on the home printer. The soap, it's medium softness. And the scent, just, I mean, the scent's just beautiful on this, and it just takes me back to when I was a little kid. And um, living up in the mountains, or living in a mountain community, and the scent when it would start to rain. So let's go ahead, start lathering. Or loading the brush, I should say. Anyways, I hope this virus that's afflicting so many people around the world, I hope wherever you're at, oops, a little bit too much water. I hope wherever you're at, I hope you're staying safe. Um, I hope you're not affected, affected, your loved ones aren't affected, and if you or any of your loved ones or friends are affected, um, hope y'all, or they do well. I hope they pull out of this one right, with as little, little bad effects as possible. Anyways, that's a good load. Yeah, that's a nice load right there. Let's go ahead and wet the face and get going. There we go. Reach around here, grab my handy dandy shaving towel. Here where I live, luckily, um, to my knowledge, there's not any reported cases of it here in Kern County, California yet. Don't quote me on that, I may be wrong. But as a precaution, all the schools pretty much in my area closed down today, which is the 17th of March, 2020. And they will be reopening Possibly be reopening uh, April 14th. I slightly overhydrated this water. I mean, this soap. I've used it once. You know, I got great results and I didn't quite have enough water in it. So. Nice, thick, creamy lather. This thing, this, this soap generates nice creamy lather. Um. It lathers up really easy. And just a nice, nice, thick, thick lather. Last time I used it, like I said, I think I said just said that there wasn't quite enough water in it. So the lather was a little dry, but still I got an absolutely stellar shave out of it. The first time. And the razor is just gliding along. In case you've never used one of these old vintage Gillette razors. Um, it 
there's slight overhang on these which some people don't like some don't mind it I for one happen to be in the camp that I don't mind it because it's easier to control the blade grab the blade being blind and Justin up there in Canada, the red eye shaver, he pointed this out before himself too. It when you're <laughs> blind, you kinda need uh you kinda gotta feel around a little bit once in a while on a razor. I mean those aren't his words, those are mine, but So I like a little bit of an overhang. Um, I have one or two razors. The black, or not the black mamba, the mamba's one where it doesn't have an overhang. And that's okay. I don't don't mind it, but it's just for me a little easier to take that blade off with the overhang. Anyways, that's the first pass in that tech. Hang on, this one little spot right there. Nice. Took it right off. I was going to make a video the other night, but because I had like five days growth and mm -mm, nope, too much growth for a tech. Um, the scent strength on this soap, it's, it's about medium, I'd say. Maybe a tad stronger. Uh, you know, in medium. God, this brush feels so nice on the face, man. Um, and honestly, if Max ever does make soaps, um, and start selling them. I'd easily pay 15 bucks for a tub of his soap easily. Just just a wonderful, wonderful formula. And well. I have to honestly say that it's as good as any any artisan soap I've used um, just wonderful wonderful wonderfully rich thick lather um, creamy it's got great residual slickness poche fill on it's pretty damn good actually. I had a bit of a breakout on my face. You know, I was a teenager and I had acne. Got over that in my very early 20s. And I was like, oh yes, this crap is gone, it's done. Well, didn't think I had to worry about it anymore except for once, once, once in a great while. I might have to deal with it. And, um, And that was it. But as soon as I hit 49, I was like, wait a minute, what's what's this? Is this holy crap, this is a pimple. What well, about a pimple at 49 years old? So and so now I'm 50, I'm dealing with it. So now 
And this is not the soap's fault, but I have a, hang on guys. Razor tried clogging up. I'll get a slight tingle around the edges. of my lips using the soap. I did the last time and I'm getting it again this time. It never went past the very mild tingle. But a couple of my soaps that I have in my den now does that to me. Oh, a couple of new subscribers. I went ahead while I was gone. My numbers dropped down to like 71 subscribers. And, uh, now I'm up to 85. When I looked earlier, I'm up to 85. And, uh, one of them, I just picked up very, very early, or very, very, you know, today actually. But, um, and I've got notification of two of them. One has his own channel. He went for a while without creating any content. I haven't had a chance to look at your channel, channel but I will here. I've just kind of glanced at your videos. Um, his channel is called Ace Bat. Um, and it looks like it's pretty much mostly video game stuff for the most part. Um, so, welcome to you. And, um, again, it's great. And the other is a, oh, jeez. One moment. Had to check my Victor Reader to get the name of the new subscriber. But the second new subscriber that I want to give a shout out to is, and if I mess up your last name, I'm sorry, but it's Jen Crantle. Anyways, Ace Back and Jen, welcome to the channel. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your time here. So, but yeah, this this soap it's. I mean, as I'm doing it, shaving. The slickness goes away as the soap, or seems to go away as the soap is swiped off with the razor. But, I wet my fingers. Right there. The slickness kicks right back in. So, no issues there yeah I was so happy when I won oh um in the whip dog high mountain white I won that on shaving in the lion's den I believe it was called um uh, Andrew Leon uh, U.S. soldier, active duty, so, I 
I haven't seen him on any of the Facebook pages. So. I uh, hope he's uh, doing well. I heard a few stories about him, and, um, well, to be quite frank, it sounds like his unit were some badass dudes, man. Um, they sound like some pretty tough hombres, as they used to say. Anyways, um, I never get a perfect baby butt smooth shave with a tech, but... I was in the mood for, you know, I didn't want to go ahead and go too heavy on the growth because I knew the tech wouldn't have been able to do it. But if you have really sensitive skin, uh, this will work great for you as far as a, a razor. Great first time razor too for someone I, I could imagine it would be. Anyways, I'm going to rinse off and I'll be back to apply the alum. Alright guys, got my Old Spice alum stick. Um, it was setting up there without the lid, so... Um, my last video, my gratitude shape, I was mentioning everybody that had included stuff in that, in that shape, there were two items I didn't mention. One was the brush, and the second was this alum stick. I got both this alum stick and the brush from Dennis O'Drain, so... A belated thank you, a belated thank you to him. Um, so let that set for a minute. Now I'll rinse off. Anyways, so I'll go ahead and rinse off here. And we'll see all of you back here for the post after I shave my head. Oops, missed a little bit of soap right there. On my ear. Anyways, that was a really, really nice shave. My face still has a little bit of the scent of the petrichor. Missed a little spot right there, but that was um in an area that had ingrown hair, so I kind of not gonna worry about hitting it again. Um, the tech with the Persona Red or Persona Platinum. Um, did really, really nice. Um, yeah, the spots where I could still feel whiskers, they've pretty much pulled back in now. So, yeah, damn, damn happy with the shave. Anyways, um, the razor and the blade combo were great. The Petrichor from Max Schaefer, absolutely phenomenal soap. Everything you want in a soap. Um... Like I said, I'd easily pay 15 bucks for a tub of his soap. If he went into making um, soap as a business, um, he's got the formula, the base. It's absolutely nailed down. Uh, easily top tier or second tier for me. Quote, more, more than likely top tier just on the quality of the soap. Um, the brush, absolutely wonderful brush i love it it always just feels i mean so soft on the face because it's got those nice soft gel tips oh yeah real quick the reason why i called this video number 96 is because the other day my girlfriend and i we were on etsy or i was on etsy and i was just cruising seeing what they got and they had a razor that i'd seen or heard of and I really, really have been wanting one. And, uh, it was a 1957 Gillette Red Tip in the Fisherman case. And, um, it was, it was a good, it was a pretty good price. It was on between one, it was, I think, 150 or more. Um, but if you're not familiar with that razor, basically... On one side of the razor case, you got the razor with the blades and the little booklet. 
And this thing had everything. It was just like if you walked in a store and walked out with it. The only problem with it is it had one small crack at the top of the case. But I mean, it had the original blades, the blade, uh, the original blades, paperwork, the razor. Um, it had a, a fishing lure on one side, on one, you know, on the back side. It you open it up and it's got a fishing lure in it, and maybe a couple other little things. I can't remember. Even the little shipper, it came with the shipper box that even had the original price tag on it. And my girlfriend was all, this, this razor's in beautiful condition. And she said, do you want it? Because I had her look at it. And she said, do you want it? And I said, yeah, I would love to have that razor. But there is one other um, Gillette aftershave gel one other razor and I won't say what that one is because my next video unless if this virus has screwed up the mail hopefully my next video is going to be me unboxing it and then I'm just going to do a countdown on the videos and my hundredth video will be me using the razor because it's one that I've wanted so bad for so long it's not a red dot it's not a bottom dial fat boy or a toggle um, but it's one that I've been wanting in my shaved in for so long. And I got one in a full set. The only caveat, which I'll mention in the video when I do it, is the razor is from 1905. And the case that it's in is from 1908. But... He just closed that. The pictures is absolutely beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. And my girlfriend said, my God, honey, this thing's in beautiful condition. And, um, and it's one that I had been wanting so bad for so long. So, went with that one instead. And it was cheaper than the red tip by quite a bit. And um, other than that... That's all I'm telling you. You guys are going to have to go ahead and watch for the next few, the next video. And, and when I use it, if you want to see me shave with it for the first time, you're going to have to see me go ahead. Well, maybe the second time. But for the first time on camera, that will be my 100th hundred, hundredth video. You know, called vid, you know, vid Tenio or something like that. I don't know. Oh, the aftershave is Razor Rock Blue Barbershop. I love the smell of this blue barbershop. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Um, the restrictor doesn't allow it to come go, go, you know, guzzling out. Oh, and if any of you guys know what razor I'm talking about or if you guys got a good idea don't mention it because my friend Christian out in Victorville uh, he's kind of curious what it is so um, I don't want him to know because <laughs> um, I know some of you guys will sit there and say well if it comes in a nice case, it's got to be this model. That's the shave, guys. Once again, I hope y'all are staying safe, staying healthy. Um... If you're, if this virus has got you, or if you know anybody that's gotten it, um, you know, I hope you or them get over it ASAP um, and stay safe. Uh, I'll see all of you again on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.